Hello and welcome to the Formula 1600, also known as the Formula Ford. We are doing some fixed racing at Okayama Short and uh, getting, I guess, a little bit of a peek at the updated graphics, although I can't really do too much with my computer, so <laughs> might not even look too much uh, different. But uh, we're also doing some road racing. I want to get back into road racing a little bit. I kind of uh, fell away from it for a while. And so I'm, I'm a bit rusty, I think. Uh, even my uh, normal, like, weekly Mazda MX-5 race I would normally do in the past. I haven't been doing. And so uh, i got to get used to turning right again. It's been all oval all the time for me for the, pretty much the past season plus. And uh, now that we're in the new season, I figured, hey, let's uh, let's try to get back into some road racing. Sounds like uh, some fun. And uh, we're in a car that I have very little experience in. So that ought to be interesting. I've only done one or two races in this car, I think. Uh-oh. And it shows, as you can see. It's already going off. Green flag, green flag. So I don't expect to be very good. Despite my number three okay, here comes your I rating here and here. Here and here? I don't know why I said it like that. Not a great turn already. Let's see if we can attack this. I noticed that this thing turns a lot better when you're off the throttle. Once you get uh, on the gas, it really starts to push a little bit, so. Seems like it uh, turns best whenever you wait on throttle. So I'll try to do that. Picked up the pace a little bit here in the second part of the lap. Eh, still not great though. We'll see how we stack up. If I out-qualify my myself and I see that guys are basically flying past me, I might just have to let him go a little bit. I still missed the, the line I wanted to take there. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Through there, pretty good. That's a new fastest lap for Moody, 56.4. I feel like I improve basically every lap I do, which is good. I have a lot of improvement to do. The leader has just done a 56.2. Oh, I overdrove that. Uh, that killed a lot of my speed, I think, in that final corner, but I think this lap will be better at least. Fifty-six six. Alright, we're P6, and I guess while we're waiting for everybody, we'll just uh, go ahead and do some more laps. While we wait, I need all the practice I can get. We're just going to try to survive, keep it on the track, get used to road racing again, and uh, learn some more about this car, too. I'm going to do more road racing this season, like I said. I don't know if it's going to be always in this car. Maybe. This car is pretty fun. But whatever I do, I'm going to be trying to uh, get back into it. I've had a lot of really great road races on iRacing, so I'm excited to get back into the mix. I think my biggest trouble so far has been this turn one. I tend to uh, get real uneasy on the braking and uh, miss my line a lot. I think I'm losing a lot of my time in turn one. This lap's not looking so bad. I'm sure this is one of those cars too that uh, it's faster as you go, probably lighter on fuel, if I had to guess, and the tires get up to temp, so you probably gain some speed doing that.
Hey, that was a pretty good lap. Can we get to the line before we get kicked out? Yeah, look at that. 56-2. That's my best. All right. See what I mean? I'm, I'm kind of like getting better every lap. Making adjustments. We're down to P7 now, so we're pretty far back in the field, unfortunately, but that's where I belong. Where would a 56.6 get me? Right exactly where I am. Oh wait, no, 56.2 is where I got on the better lap. That would have put me third, so hey, maybe we can move forward. We're not crazy far off, about half a second, which is a lot, to be fair, but not quite as much as you sometimes see with the crazy fast guys. And hey, the four's not even here, so I should be able to beat him, right? You would think. <laughs> One X already, which kind of stinks, but... Another thing I did, because of how uh, unsettled I'm getting on the entry to one, I moved my brake bias up. It started at 58%, so it's not really that drastic, but I moved that up. And I had to get the purple screen color, of course, to go with my grape. I, grape I went through a, in the paint booth and grapeified all my cars. Uh, I tried to like mix it up a little bit. Like this one's kind of got like the black on top and then the purple on the sides. So it's not uh, not every car is just plain purple. Tried to do like different shades and you know there's only so much you can do in the paint booth, but try to mix them up a little bit. I'm not good at it, and obviously it's just the irising paint booth, so it's like snooze fest. But <laughs> at least uh, we got the grapes out in force. Get this lined up for later. I guess we need to be on far chase. Alright, and only uh, 30 seconds. I feel like we should be able to skip ahead if the guy's not here. Like, I know we're, like, letting them get back in the session, but... Well, it's the track team so high. Oh my! 131 degrees! <laughs> Guess we got direct sunlight. It's my only explanation for that. Summer. He's right, the track temp is high. But it's only 26 degrees, how can the track be 55? Huh. Yeah, it used to be like 49 or something, 48. 51 is so hot. They're of course talking Celsius. We've got the America units here, Fahrenheit. <laughs> Alright, we're getting gridded up, it's time. We uh, are starting 7th. Looks like the 6 is right along the same pace as us, and then... I don't know if the 12 or 8 were putting their full efforts in or something happened during qualifying, but they're about a second off, so. Wow, look at that, actually. We're really tight, 6, 7, and 8. So that's interesting. But we're just, uh, we're looking to survive the here. Of field just want to get a nice run. 2573 is not too bad for a strength of field. Uh, I, I know that, um, I know that road... Strength of fields tend to trend higher than oval, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I I think I hear a lot that like road eye ratings can be higher generally. And therefore the strength of fields can be higher. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but pretty decent field here, even though it's late night for me. Of course it's not late night all over the world, and uh, I'm one of few United Statesers in here, so I might have something to do with a lot of it. Got to remember how to get this thing started. All right. Green, green, green. All right, good jump. I'm happy with that. Not gonna make a dumb move into turn one. We're gonna be patient. Being very patient. Holy cow, he is slamming on the brakes. Alright, we're good. That's why we're patient. Right side. Still there. Clear Someone on our outside, I think he said. Right side. So we'll make sure we get that all cleared up.
Alright, we've survived so far. That guy's going wide, that guy's going wide, we're almost going wide. We're slamming on the brakes. <laughs> careful, careful now. I'm gonna have some extra speed heading into one, I gotta be ready. Because we got draft. Oh my god, that guy is driving into us. Holy cow, dude. I had to avoid him. He just bullied me right out of the way. I think he just overdrove it by accident, but that was not good. I had to basically blow my corner because he was blowing his. That's fine. We'll let him go ahead. I think we can probably catch him over time. And we'll see, but... Speaking of time, how much time do we have in this race? I don't actually know. Ten minutes left, so that's pretty short, but I think we can do some things in that time. Okay, come on, turn. I got on the throttle too quick, that's what I was talking about. This car turns best when you're off the throttle. I didn't get the turn in like I wanted. Sector 2 is 0.3. Off the pace. You're two tenths off the pace in Sector 3. It's getting kind of wily up there. Alright, getting into the groove of it a bit. We're pretty slow, but that's not unexpected. Oh man, I overdrove that bad. I'm really bad out of that final corner, and that's a bad place to be bad. <laughs> As we see him drive off into the distance. That was a 56.7. Sector 1 is 0.4 off the pace. Okay, get there through there about as good as I have. Oh, he's spinning. Did that guy curse him by saying his name? He said his name, didn't he? And then he spun. We've had a uh, curse put on somebody in this race. Don't mess with the seven. He's into witchcraft. We'll see if we can hold on to this spot. He's only four seconds behind, so he might still come catch us. But hey, I didn't overdrive turn one for once. Actually, hit the line I wanted to hit. Got another spin of some sort. No idea where they went. Maybe they're back going again. Oh, they've got like a three wide or something going on ahead. This is fun. I'm having fun driving this. I like that uh, it's not too heavily reliant on draft, it seems. I don't know why I didn't shift a second there, but it's hurting me. I don't really shift into second for that corner, and I just didn't for some reason. Up to the seven. I shifted into third there for some reason. I don't normally do that. Same with first gear right here. We'll see if this works. That actually was better. First gear worked there, so I might do that from now on. I might need to take wider entry into the final corner. Yeah, that works much better, I think. 
Hopefully you can't hear my squeaky pedal. It's making a lot of squeaky noises. I have noise cancellation stuff, which I hopefully, which hopefully is masking it. I might have to increase its intensity if it's the squeaking right, is still coming through. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. All right, we're going fast. We're not doing too bad. Car's definitely getting faster as the race goes on. Thought that red car, two cars ahead, was spinning for a second. It looked like he was sideways. Just heading through the corner though. I missed that turn again. I'm really bad at that. Times are improving. This is good. Five minutes remaining. Five I went in there way left. too hard. It worked though. B9. Almost forgot to do first gear. There's an incident in turn two. It looks like heart. Incident in turn two. That would be behind us. I don't know why I didn't shift to first there. Caught the guy head though. They're all kind of bunched up right now. Oh god, do we have to pay, make a pass? Am I capable of that? Pass right, he says. Okay. Left side, clear. He assist. Oh, he's just gonna let it happen. Well done, Colton. He's like, that guy clearly doesn't know what he's doing. I'm just gonna make this easy. Wait for, for him to wreck. Whoa, speaking of wreck, that was looking scary for a second. Defend hard. Make them work for it. There's definitely a better way to do that corner than I did, but... Oh, we got a pass attempt. Oh my god, he almost slid him and got him. He's still right on him. Holy smokes, that's close racing. How much time we got left? Three and a half minutes? Gained a spot. He let us have it, but it counts still. Push now. We can catch up here. He almost was able to follow the other guy through there. Oh wow, he's really going slow through here. I'm messing up my shifting because I am all over the place. Come on, shift. Heading into turn one with a lot of speed, gotta be ready. Oh my god, how did I avoid that? I didn't do it, I didn't touch him. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. He just spun on his own. But I had to slam on the brakes to avoid getting into him. Am I the one that's cursing people? Actually? <laughs> I don't know, but we gained another spot. I don't know if we're gaining any more though, because we lost a lot of time during that exchange. That'll be P7 though. I think that's where we started. Seventh position. Getting a little more comfortable each lap. Oh. 
Yeah, just go through the grass. That, that'll work just fine. Don't worry about it. Multiple seconds ahead, so not gonna catch them unless they wreck. Okay, it kind of did a drift there. That was the maybe not flag. right. That means one more lap to go. White flag. Any more freebies for us? White flag. One more to go. Oh, I drove in too hard. I don't think I need first gear there. I don't know. Kind of borderline. I think if I hit it right, I don't need it, but sometimes if I'm going too slow, I do need first gear. Everyone's keeping it clean, it looks like. No freebies. I just have to hit one final corner. And we'll get P7. All right, I'll take it. There we go. Having had a drought from uh, road racing and riding in a car that I do not have any experience with, really, I'll take that. You did really well. Thank you. See my crew fairies. I think we got zero X too. I'm gonna go ahead and park it over here so no one gets us. Goo, I said for some reason. There we go. Good race. Good one. Oh, he's gone. He won the race, right? Yeah, show him. There. He's gone, but good win anyway. Yeah, so we got back to where we started after uh, some scary first laps. Getting my uh, sea legs again. Tire's not really a thing, it looks like. They're all pretty much 100%. So, hey, that's something to build on. I'll take it. Take a look at the incidents. Starting here on lap two, the eight goes in a little hot. That's what happened to the other guy later that we narrowly avoided. Lap four, the 12 coming in too hot. From second place, this guy spins and still finishes third. And uh, plenty ahead of us. 12 having another issue. He was cursed, I guess. This is the guy that spins in front of us. Yeah, he just goes in a little hot, I think. Ooh. Man, shout out to the, uh... The 7. Not running into the back of us, either. He saw it happening. He's able to slow it down. Just t gets a tiny piece of it, but... I was really worried that even if we were able to slow down for this guy, we were going to get hit from behind, but thankfully we were able to get through. Did I kind of phase through the guy's nose a little bit? Nah, we were able to get around it. You can see I'm braking for the corner and I have to like slam on the brakes. Just barely get through. So that protects our uh, 1x race. We had 1x at some point apparently. Going off track, I guess. But, uh, hey, that's not bad. That should probably be a uh, gain for safety rating at the end of this thing. In fact, that is the end of this thing in terms of incidents. So let's take a look. Race results page coming up. We'll see. Uh, we, we lost some uh, road I rating, which is way too high for me anyway, because I spent so much time just racing Mazda MX-5s over and over. 2573 strength of field. We will lose 40 I rating for our seventh place, but I'm happy with it. We actually lose safety rating. Really? We got 1x in the race and 1x in qualifying. And that's a loss. Man, road eye rating's tough. Hmm. I feel like oval eye rating should be this tough. Oval eye rating's definitely much tough uh much easier on you than this is. To get a 1x, 
a 1.25x essentially because qualified counts over one fourth, I believe. So we get 1.25x and uh, lose I rating, or uh, safety rating rather. So that's interesting. Uh, what was our fast time compared to everybody? 55.9. Well, hey, the second place guy, his fastest was a 55.9. So if I could just do that consistently, we'd be fine. So I think we just got to clean up our consistency, get a little better at racing around other guys. And uh, I think uh, we'll be moving forward, literally and uh, progression-wise. So that's cool. Um, I think that's about it. We were the second place <laughs> uh, United States driver behind the six. So that's something. We beat the 10 and the 8. So you know what? I find my own victories to celebrate. And that wasn't even a victory. It was a P2. But we take those. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some uh, road racing. Get back into it. I hope to do some more this season. And I hope to see you there. Have a good one. And thank you for watching. I'll see you later.